Alright, so, um, yes, to arrange the wonderful Xbox 360 uh, wireless control module, most likely your driver didn't install. And that is normal because if you got it from WoW Parts and for 1015, most likely it is actually a Chinese knockoff. And I'm not even joking. So, the first thing that you're actually going to want to do is to see this page right here. To access it, click on your start button right click on your computer and then click on properties the reason why I'm asking you this is that we're gonna want to see if you have a 64-bit system right where you have system type right under your RAM it's gonna show if you have either a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system I'm gonna be showing you how to do both now when you have a 64-bit system stay on this page and go to device manager it should open up this page. I actually already had it open, but I'm going to close this one. Now you'll notice that once you had it plugged in, you're going to have an unknown device. This is the thing right here. This is your Xbox controller right here. So what, we're going to, what you're actually going to want is um, actually a, a software provided by Microsoft. I'm going to put you a link uh, to a Dropbox or uh, the actual link to the website to properly acquire it. It may be 64-bit or 32-bit version. It is the Xbox 360 underscore 64ENG.exe. Once you install this, uh, now what you're actually going to want to do is go back into your device manager. So just leave it open. You're going to want to right-click on it and click Update Driver software. Now you have search automatically but that's going to fail. You're going to want to do browse my computer for local uh, for driver software. So it's located and install it manually. Now you don't want to do it select it. You want to say let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. So you're going to click on that. Don't click on anything. Just immediately click next. And then afterwards you're going to want to click have disk. It's not really a disk but you know we're going to get it anyways. So then you're going to click Browse. Now you'll notice it's searching for int file. Now I'm already in the proper subfolder, but I'm going to show you where you get it. So if you go back and you got your local disk C, you're going to scroll down. Now another way to know if you actually have a 64-bit uh, system is that if you have program files and program files x86. Now when you install the 64-bit version, the folder that I'm going to be asking you is going to be found in program files. If you have a 32-bit version, it should actually just be program files or program files x86. So we're going to go into program files. In there, scroll down until you see Microsoft Xbox 360 accessories. That's the thing we just installed. So we're going to go inside of it and you got xusb21.inf. Select it, click open, then afterwards click OK. Then afterwards you'll see this is the things that it's basically going to be installing. You click on next. After it will say uh, it is not recommended, blah blah blah, you say yes. You just want to install it. So then it's going to be installing it, you hear the doot doot, and there we go. It detected it, it has properly installed it. So when you do close, you shall see in Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Class in your device manager, Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And there you go. Now uh, to synchronize your um, your controller, just real quick, you have the little synchronize button. So you're gonna want to press uh, your synchronize um, on the little the but uh, on the device that uh, that you just installed, as well as um, your your controller. Uh, for the first time, if my memory serves, you actually need to hold it in a little longer until the little thing goes spin uh, spins around. And there we go. Now it's just uh, finalizing detection right there. So okay, if you have any other questions, uh, don't hesitate to email me or leave a comment on the video, and uh, I'll try my best to assist. Alright, thanks.